Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. So, 6-1 and one with my Warlock here. A deck which, if you recall the previous videos, I was not all that excited about how, I, how my choices has gone. So, either I'm an idiot for thinking the deck wasn't very good, or I'm a genius for choosing and playing so well. Or possibly life is some kind of gray area that doesn't easily boil down into binary decisions. Eh. And... Ugh, I almost ran into a Blizzard developer. Those guys usually know what they're doing when they're playing their own games. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. See, he will fight with honor, but I think honor equals dumb. That's why I have a coin and an extra card. I am going to mulligan uh, all of these cards, because none of them are what I want at the beginning of the game. Wow, I'm going to be going slow this game. What do you have, Paladin? I could coin out the Knife Juggler. But I have no second turn play. I hate that. It seems like a waste of a Knife Juggler. But on the other hand, Paladin probably doesn't have a good way to kill him. And he's a 3-2, so i got to do it. Otherwise, my hand is slow. Oh, Samurai, you summon the River Croglisk to fight me. Actually, that is kind of funny. I could draw a card, which would be nice. Then he would be able to trade with my Knife Juggler. That's not as nice. Or I can play a Blood Imp and kill his Crocodile. I wonder. I'm going to try that, even though it's probably fun. I was hoping you'd shoot him, but... okay. Actually, the Crocodile can't kill the Knife Juggler now because of the Blood Imp, so I can just attack him. So the Blood Imp is actually helping out there, for now. Not on my watch. That's not very good. Okay. And I am going to lose the knife juggler soon. I don't want to, this would be a dumb time for the succubus since I have three cost plays. I could drain life something, which is seeming kind of sad, so or I can just play the harvest golem and get a free damage. Maybe on him, but probably not. I'm going to want this guy out there anyway, for afterwards. So, now I have this choice. I could kill that with the Blood Imp. Because the, we know that taking away one, one max health or whatever, however it works, taking away a bonus won't kill a guy. So I could do that, and then he could still just take it out with his Argent Protector, but he would have less stuff, and I can keep beating him. I think I'm going to do that. Sure, send the next guy. I really think the Blood Imp is a resource to be expended. He's not something that I am huge on keeping alive. Not on my watch. He did his job. Please stop with the free bubbles. Seriously. Okay, I could cast a Geomancer and a Succubus. That would be pretty expensive card-wise, though, especially since I could cast a 3-5 Violet Teacher, and then next turn when I drain life something, I would gain a token creature. And that's pretty good. Um, I wonder. Beating on him's been pretty good, but if I kill one of these guys, he won't have enough damage left in play without doing something. To, t to kill the Violet Teacher. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Class. Of course, the Golem is such a cockroach that he can kill it, and then it'll still be there. But now, now at least he'd have to buff or something if he wants to kill her. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, that's really bad. 
This is also really bad, though. Stupid Sword of Justice. Like, whenever he summons a minion, it gets plus one, plus one. And that just costs one durability off this thing. Plus, he could use it to attack for one damage if he wanted to. Oh, man. So, I can catch the Fen Creeper, who has Taunt. Or I could drain life something and gain a 1-1. One, one, and then still have mana left to... Geomancer or draw a card. Fen, Fen Creeper's got to be a better choice. So yeah, I'll do that. His two guys don't have quite enough to take him out without again buffing or something. And I'm I'm fairly confident he will, but I'm gonna keep damaging him while I can. I've got more cards than him. That's good. This thing is so bad though. Ah, that is also really bad. Man, is that bad. Okay. We could maybe hit Succubus and Demon Fire. Boulder Fist Ogre is pretty fat. I can trade for this guy. Should be okay. I could drain life the owl, and that would also give me a 1-1, one, one, and I would have three mana left. Which doesn't really work out very well. If I cast the Geomancer and Demon Fire, it will do three damage and kill him. Then I could still play the Succubus, I would lose an extremely good card. Or I could, I could just draw a card at that point. And I will gain a card, I will gain a minion from the Demon Fire. Yeah, okay. This this seems like a good organizational plan. Three damage and gain a 1-1. One, one. Then... I'm still somewhat ahead, like, somewhat ahead in life, so I might be better off hitting him and letting him deal with the Violet. I'm not going to be too ahead in life when I draw a card, though. I do want to draw a card. I'm going to draw the card first because I technically have zero cost cards in here. Um, Instruction begins. I'm going to hit him. I, I should probably go more for the board control at this point, but I'm going to hit him anyway because I, I think that she's fairly good. Ew. God damn this stupid sort of justice. Stupid unfair justice. Ah! Okay, well, you're getting drain life, stupid card drawing owl. Card drawing owl, bad. Yeah, drain life, chill wind. That does leave this guy as a fairly obnoxious thing. I mean, the boulder fist could handle him better, but I cannot leave him drawing cards from the owl. Horrible. Getting some life back is good, and I've got one ones for bubble popping duty. So I could draw a card in Succubus, but again, Yeti seemed much better play. Do I want to hit him for three? Otherwise, she's sitting around doing nothing. And he can just eat the Yeti, but no, I, I'm i better off killing this thing all in one turn. I mean, as a Paladin, he, he could even have bad like, life gain cards, which I think that pay to gain six life thing does actually heal minions if he wants it to, and if he heals a guy with it, it would be strong. Really? Really? Yeah, did... Uh, stupid Blessing of Kings. Okay, well, he has 10 toughness. If I just spend everything, I can take him out. I can, like, dark iron one of these guys, and then that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to have to do that because this thing is so obnoxious. Not as obnoxious as that, but more so many immediately a problem. <sighs> 
Now, I'm going to be drawing a card and playing the Succubus. I'm not going to be able to play all my cards so the Succubus has nothing to get rid of. I'm going to draw a card first and see if I get something better. Nah, whatever. And, yeah. I shall do as you say. Because if it was a cheap card, I might be able to cast it and get another 1 1 out of her. I'm, the Succubus would probably be better anyway. Instruction begins. Instructions. Aim away from face. Do not attack the thing with 9 power. Except when I tell you to. Aww. Would have preferred to keep him, but at this point I kind of need the 4 health. Ow. Ah, I, I, when he did the first one, I thought that might happen. That's really bad. Perilous, you may say. Ah, the sword! He wields the sword! Well, that was unfortunate. I, like, I don't know how much I could have done about that. His blessing of kings, crazy death sort of everything's bigger. I'm not, I'm not sure what I could have done to avoid it. Hey, I've unlocked a shitty card that I don't like for my other deck. Alright, I am now 6 and 2? Yeah, okay, we're on the knife's edge now. I didn't even get... that didn't even get me very far towards my doing a 100 damage quest. So, every game is now sudden death. And... I almost got to play against a brand new player. That would not be fair. Although, frankly, I'm actually a relatively new player, but... Uh, my previous CCG experience does count for a fair amount. And watching live streams, like this one. This is not a live stream. You know what I mean. Videos. Um, three costs and two costs. You know what, I'm, I'm going to keep all these low cost guys. They should be fine. I have a coin. I traded a six cost creature for another six cost creature. At least he's a better one. And I'll probably just redraw the priestess right away. So, my opponent has no first turn play. I could coin out the Geomancer. It would let me put pressure on. I've got these three cost plays are not going to blow him away completely. If I just put out the Geomancer now, next turn I can play the Loot Hoarder, and then I can play a three cost. I think that's that's going to set up my, uh, my curve to be pretty good. Why would I play the Geomancer first? That was a stupid thought. This guy, if something happens to him, it's fine. I draw a card. Geomancer, I can potentially save for something better. So I think, based on my hand, that's a good use of the coin, because that sets me up for a much smoother casting cost curve. Yeah, see, he didn't have a coin, so he couldn't put out like a one-cost creature and then zap my guy with that. I'm perfectly willing to trade for him. Knife Juggler is so obnoxious. And we'll just play it in. Now I get Demon Fire for three if he doesn't die somehow. Which is not how I want to spend my third turn, but I would do it if it would wipe out my opponent's only creature. Hey, what do you see? I anticipated that something like that might happen. So even though one mana will be left unspent this turn, it's worth it because I get to kill his guy and kill. You know. And now I have a knife juggler who I can play probably when I have five mana. So I'll be able to play him and drop the Torin Warrior or maybe the Ghoul. That'd be good. I infer Grizzly. He's not one of my favorite taunt creatures, but in arena he's quite he's fine perfectly very good creature. Excuse me. Well, I can play a Chilwind Yeti, or I can play a Knife Juggler and draw a card. We know I don't want to do that, so... so Unfortunately, he's just going to eat my Geomancer with his bear. Not much I can do about it, except get lucky with the Goblin... Goblin? I don't know. Get lucky with the knife juggler on my next turn. 
attacks if he attacks there and doesn't heal. He can also just attack there and heal. If he has the priestess of card drawing, that would be bad. Or he can play a big fat orc. And hit me. Well, at least my geomancer lived. Alright. I think I still want a knife juggler and then probably now play the Torin for taunt. I don't see any better play than that. Having taunt would be good. Put this apple on your head. Put this apple on your head? That's what he says? I never noticed before. So yeah, let's see what ha what this does one damage to you. Bear, bear, bear? No. All right then. I guess I'll just kill the bear with my yeti and do damage directly. Could have hit the bear for one, and I could have killed it with the geomancer and been much happier in general. Ah! Well, that was really bad, but my Enrage kicked in, which is good. I don't know why he didn't just kill my guy. He knows I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, he forgot the Enrage when he did that. I don't know. That move still messed me up. I had quite an army, and now I don't. Give a Jason Minion's taunt. That's not helping. Um, the Argent Commander is not big enough to kill him. I mean, I could do damage with him, but I think I'd better off saving that for removal. So yeah, I'm just going to get out the flesh-eating ghoul, and he'll get fat, and then I'll have a harvest golem. Bring it on. Oh. Got a 4-3 for three, 3, and he's on my opponent's mind, because he can only get bigger. The opponent does have more cards than I do. And I'm not really ahead in life either, so board position is relatively even right now. I must consider. As nice as it is to have creatures, I, I'm I'm a little bit ahead because this guy's not going to die shield easily. Up. Okay. My shield for Argus. Yeah, it makes sense to do it in that order, given that those are the two cards you have. Now, I would have to trade my flesh-eating ghoul to kill that. That's not ideal. So, I hate not having a mana to spend, but it's still a perfect time for the Argent Commander. To no so Commander Keen here will just trade his bubble for that. And I, I'm not going to trade my ghoul for that, so I'm going to hit him and make him worry about that stuff. Softening him up with the golem would be pretty stupid under any circumstances, but especially dumb since he's a priest and he could just spend two and heal him back up if he wanted to. If there was any advantage to it, which there isn't because he's going to trade him for this. I must consider... I have anticipated your maneuver. Okay, you do that. Mm, what now? I'm not trying to imply that was a bad play. I'm just saying it doesn't bother me. But from his point of view, that might have been a perfectly good play based on what he has in his hand. Like, if he's, you got to cast something. I don't know why he's not casting all these cards. Like, I don't know what those could be, but... I'm sure it was reasonable for him to do that. It just doesn't bother me. I mean, he could be saving up to drop a Spell Power guy and Holy Nova, thinking it'll do three damage, it'll kill everything, so he wanted to get rid of this first. And then he's waiting so that I play more creatures. That's quite possible. I wonder. I do wonder. So, bearing that in mind, 
I may not want to just play two six cost or six cost and two cost like I was thinking of. So many costs. It's, it's tough because if if everything's gonna die, I would want to play the priestess because her battle cry would go off and that's like half her power there. But if it was gonna be by damage, I might rather play the archmage because he's gonna not die from an AOE. I could draw a card instead of playing another creature. That may be a little bit on the paranoid side, though. Because I can always play the other two next turn, even if he kills everything. And it looks like it's going to take most of his mana to do that. Um, I'm going to try putting out stuff. And we'll see what he's got in store for me. I know I could have played him elsewhere and given more of them taunt, but... Sometimes there's an advantage to only having one guy with taunt. Like, I should have put him here and given it to the weak guy, I guess. But this way, with only one taunt, the opponent has no choice of which to attack. That's bad. I was sort of worried about a mind control, too. And... Yeah, so I should have done the Priestess of Loon. Oh, well. If I Dark Iron, I can't afford to cast the Priestess of Loon anyway, so I'm going to draw a card. I can Dark Iron Fen Creeper. Yeah. That Mind Control is expensive for me, but he still looks like he's on the back foot for sure. <laughs> I got this. Oh wait, I can't play the Dark Iron and that. Duh, because I already... I'm a fool. I don't want to play the Succubus right now. It's probably stupid that I don't want to, but I don't really want to lose one of these cards for her. I really don't know what he has, though. If he doesn't have AoE, then I should do it. Um... I'm gonna do it. Damn. I don't know why I said damn. Either card would be equally annoying to me right now. It is possible that he's doing what I was thinking before, that he's got a spell power creature and a holy nova. He's gonna do three damage to everything, and that would be really obnoxious. But otherwise, I don't know what he's saving cards for. He's got max mana now. He had like a sea giant in his hand, and it's, it was too expensive to do along with other stuff. I don't know. I'm, conf I'm confused as to what he would have in his hand. Okay, swordsmith. Fat swordsmith. Heal himself. Okay. Oh, draw a card. Interesting. I think I am best served mostly to beat him down and play the Fen Creeper, but I am going to use the Elven Archer and the, the Protector here to kill off his Smith, so he stops gaining advantage from that. I wonder. One shot, one I got this. That feels like pretty good board position. Did these two trade places when I... Am I seeing things? It, it felt like after the first hit, these two traded places, and then I hit them again and they traded back. I'm like hallucinating now. Really weird since I don't drink or do drugs. Why does saying I don't drink make me take a drink? Probably brain neuro cross wiring. 
Prophet Villain. Seriously? Double the damage and healing of your spells and hero power. Okay. And he is a 7-7. Seven, seven. So he's not, like, slacking off there. On the other hand, he has no taunt, and I have a raid leader. That's 2, plus 4, 6, plus 10, 16. I think I just kill him. Handle it! I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Yep. All right. I get to keep going at least a little longer. So that got me a lot closer. Seven wins, two losses. So we'll see next video if I can get one more win. It'll be my best run ever. Next time. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, or on your touchscreen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touchscreen is not recommended.